Welcome to my channel. This is today's daily news clips. But before I begin, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the comments. I really enjoy interacting in the comments. And I just really have to thank you for the growth of my channel. It's amazing how much my channel has grown. I'm absolutely dumbfounded. So <clears throat> we have a number of news items today. Some I'm going to just talk about. Others I'm going to show you. <clears throat> but uh, of course, I'll put all the links in the description so that you can follow up if you want to. The first uh, item that I have is a Gold Star family member gave a CNN anchor a rude awakening about Biden, leading to awkward si silence. You can read that article. The second one is Steve Baker describes humiliating treatment by the FBI during his arrest. If you don't know who Steve Baker is, he's an independent journalist who was at the January 6th event and recorded the things that were going on there, and the FBI has now arrested him and charged him. They have not charged any mainstream reporters, and all, there was over 60 of them inside the Capitol building, but only people who are considered right-wing have been arrested. And Steve Baker talks about how embarrassing it was for him and how humiliating it was to be paraded into court in handcuffs with a chain around a, a chain around his waist that the handcuffs were connected to and also uh, manacles on his feet. They did all this, they do all this, the FBI does this, uh, just to embarrass them and try to pressure them into a plea bargain. Now, <clears throat> I, uh, I have received in the email a free subscription to public at Substack. And I can give it away to anybody. So what I'm going to do is, if you will send me an email asking me for this free subscription, the first email that I get will get it. I'll send you the information on how to obtain it. Uh, it's, it's a new site that you may be interested in subscribing to. And I'm going to give it away. Uh, the next item on the agenda is Jordan Peterson's testimony before Congress. Uh, I'm gonna, it's on YouTube and I'm going to put the link in the description and I highly recommend you watch this. It is chilling to put it mildly. Peterson talks about the future under the technology that we have now with cameras everywhere and the power that the government has to take over our lives. And it really is, it's frightening. Okay. The next item that I have is Robert Kennedy being interviewed on a podcast and he talks about stuff having to do with the uh, election and you know how he's running for president and what's going on in our country right now. And I think this is something that you would... Uh, appreciate knowing about and so I'm going to play it for you. By which you would measure that. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, but they're all, I mean, the DNC is really misbehaving. They're really trying to block people. Yeah, they try to block uh, you, right? They try to block me. They, they try to block Trump. And I'm not a fan of Trump's, but I want to be on a, on a, on an, a level, you know, battlefield with him. I don't want to beat him because a court threw him out. I want to beat him because... I'm able to make the argument to the American people that I should be president and I have a debate and that kind of stuff. I, I don't think it's good for our country. I don't think it's good for the DNC. I think this persecution that the DNC has leveled, that people see that as unfair. Americans just viscerally are saying this guy is being attacked and they're, you know, it's moving huge numbers of voters over to him because yeah. they're pissed at what the DNC is doing. Yeah, it's also terrible for America. We're supposed to be the exemplary democracy in the around the world. This is what they do in, you know, in banana republics. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah. 
Banana Republics is right. I don't know, maybe some of my foreign viewers who watch this can tell me, but my personal opinion is that when people in other countries look at what's going on in our country right now, they're laughing at us. They think, how ridiculous is America? And it's sad, but that's the reality of it. Now, this next one is a gold star father of a Marine killed in the Afghanistan withdrawal uh, who called out Biden during the State of the Union address. I did not watch the State of the Union. I never do. It's all boring and, you know, bragging and electioneering, and I just don't, I don't care to watch it. I don't care who's president. I never watched the State of the Union address, but this popped up on Twitter, and I thought you should see it. You can't hear what the father says, but you kind of get the message if, if you understand what I mean. All Americans deserve the freedom to be safe, and America is safer today than when I took office. Year before I took office, murder rates went up 30 percent. 30 percent they went up. The biggest increase in history. It was then, through no, through my American Rescue Plan, which every American voted against. I'm mad at. Okay. Every American voted against whatever it was he was talking about. Yeah, sure. Okay. And the last item on the agenda is uh, we now have smoking gun proof that Fannie Willis perjured herself in her testimony during her disqualification hearing. I don't know if this will be entered into the record in that in that disqualification case, but uh, the attorney who started this whole thing was testifying before the Georgia Senate, and this is what she said. There's um, one of the other things I did was I, I did a open records for well, I can the barely White House that. access, and we had records that um, Miss Willis and the okay. mayor of Atlanta. Okay, the sound on that is not very good. You will need to. Uh, Vice President. Uh, hold on a minute. Maybe I can. Maybe I can fix that. Let's see. Uh, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll put the links in the description for you. So, but basically, I'll, I'll go ahead and describe what she talks about. Um, Attorney Ashley Marchant, who's the one who began this whole disqualification thing against uh, Fonnie Willis, has proof that Fonnie went to the White House. And if you scroll down below, you can see the video where she testifies under oath in the disqualification hearing that she has never been to the White House. So... Uh, I just, I think Fannie Willis's career is over. I think she's done for. Um, even the Democrats are going to wipe their hands of her after all of this has come out. It's just too much. It's way too much. So that's the news for the day. As always, I pray for you, my, my followers, my viewers. I pray that God will keep you healthy and strong and provide you with an abundant life and keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. Oh, you need to see my shirt. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, let's see. There you go. That's my excuse. I was unsupervised. <laughs> okay. I pray that God will do the same for every person that you love, and I pray that you will be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will let your requests be made known to God. This is the Vietnam era vet out. <laughs>